What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our silicone radiator hoses in your 2016 Plus Focus RS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include seven millimeter socket, quarter inch driver and extension, T30 Torx, three ace drive ratchet and extension, flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers, a panel tool, channel lock pliers, needle nose pliers, pop clip pliers, and a hose clamp tool. Installation time is approximately two hours. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. Caution, never work on the cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you are unsure. Remove the two pop clips that secure the under tray to the stabilizer bar. Remove the eight torque screws and two pop clips that secure the under tray to the bottom of the vehicle. Slide the under tray forward and remove it from the vehicle. Remove the seven torque screws that secure the rear edge of the splash panel to the vehicle. Remove the torque screw and pop clip that secure the splash panel to the bumper on the driver's side wheel well. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Remove the seven pop clips that secure the front edge of the splash panel to the bumper. Release the outside edges of the splash panel from the front bumper. Then remove the splash panel from the vehicle. Locate the petcock on the passenger side of the radiator. Place a drain bucket underneath the radiator mounting peg and open the petcock to drain the coolant. Remove the pressure cap from the expansion tank to accelerate the draining process. Remove the engine cover by lifting it directly upward. The cover is held on by four pegs and grommets. Remove the two torque screws that secure the passenger side headlight to the vehicle. Slide the headlight forward to remove it from the vehicle. Note the tab on the headlight and the slot on the body for reassembly, and then disconnect the electrical harness from the headlight. Repeat this process on the driver's side headlight. This will give you easy access to the radiator hose connections. Reach through the hole where the passenger side headlight was mounted to access the lower radiator hose connection. Compress the clamp that secures this connection, and then separate the hose from the engine. Compress the clamp that secures the lower radiator hose to the radiator, and then separate the hose from the radiator. For this clamp, I used a hose clamp tool passed up from underneath the car. Remove the lower radiator hose from the vehicle. Lubricate each end of the Mishimoto lower hose with fresh coolant and install a pair of worm gear clamps. Lower the hose into place and attach it to the radiator and engine. Then tighten the clamps to secure the hose. Separate the clip that secures the coolant bypass line to gain access to the upper radiator hose connection at the plastic coolant housing. Compress the clamp that secures the hose and then separate the hose from the coolant housing. Compress the clamp that secures the upper radiator hose to the radiator and then separate the hose from the radiator. Separate the upper radiator hose from the plastic clip that secures it and then remove the hose from the vehicle. Lubricate each end of the Mishimoto upper hose with fresh coolant and install a pair of worm gear clamps. Lower the hose into place through the headlight area and install it to the coolant housing and the radiator. Then tighten the clamps to secure the hose.
Reinstall the clips that secure the coolant line and the radiator hose. Reconnect the electrical harness to the driver's side headlight and slide the headlight into place. Then secure the headlight with the original torque screws. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Close the petcock on the radiator. Reinstall the splash shield and tuck the corners behind the bumper cover. Install the seven torque screws and seven Phillips pop clips that secure the underside of the splash shield. Then secure the corners of the splash shield with the two pop clips and torque screws. Reinstall the under tray. There are two tabs on the subframe that fit into slots on the under tray. Install the pop clips that secure the under tray to the stabilizer bar. Install the eight torque screws and two pop clips that secure the under tray to the bottom of the vehicle. Reinstall the engine cover. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed, Ford approved coolant through the reservoir filler neck. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heater control valve on the vehicle's HVAC unit to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain a proper level on the reservoir and check your connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, Shut off the engine and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level has stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and then top off the coolant level. Reinstall the pressure cap to the expansion tank. Now that you've got the hoses installed and you're sure the coolant has been properly bled, it's time to fire up your RS for a test drive. It's a good idea to check the coolant level once more after putting in some miles. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.